Bi'arim Muhammad Sallallahu alaihi wa sallam One day be asking companions them Rabi Allahu anhum A very serious question Where we need to pay attention to He asked them one day He said, oh, I'm a companion them Atadurumuna mani al-muflis Do you know Uda na a person We bankrupt Una know Uda na a person We truly, truly bankrupt the companions them, Rabbi Allah anhum, they responded just like in a similar way. If we were here, we could have given the same response. He responded by saying, they say, Al Muflis Fina, the Muflis from amongst we, Balla Dirham, Walla Mata. Now the one who not gets money, Subhanallah, he not gets cash, and he not gets him for it. That kind of individual. Na a bankrupt person, na a poor person, subhanallah. Inna alhamdulillahi nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'ufiruhu. Wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. Man yahdihi allahu fala mudila la, wa man yudlil fala hadiya la. نشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى أهله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب الكريم يا أيها الناس تقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارهام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه الى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون my dear respectable brothers and sisters in Islam, or respectable elders and beloved listeners, we we'll start by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for access to efforts through the Mikna dunya and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making good efforts then, a means for we for gain the comfort of Jannah by the mass of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We pray for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in family and in companions them we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for bless them all. My beloved brothers and sisters, there is something we all of us are afraid of. That particular thing is known as bankruptcy. When a day or you day, subhanallah, you know they in a capacity for some beyond problem, subhanallah, all you get, but what do you get is so small and not sufficient. Or there are times, subhanallah, the debts the way you owe, they're higher than you earning or what you get. So even if you use what you get for pay, you get them, it not will be enough for clear them all. When we day in this kind of state, subhanallah, now a state where so terrifying, a state where we all afraid. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for make we self-sufficient within the context of halal so that inshallah we will able to look after ourselves and also look after those who they under our care by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also they in the capacity to reach out to others for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My beloved brothers and sisters, this state of being bankrupt in a very serious state, we are in Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one day be asking companions them Rabi Allahu anhum A very serious question where we need to pay attention to He asked them one day, he said, oh, I'm a companion them Atadurumuna mani al-muflis Do you know Uda na a person we bankrupt? Una know Uda na a person we truly, truly bankrupt? The companions them, Rabi Allahu anhum, they responded just like in a similar way. If we were here, we could have given the same response. They responded by saying, they say, Al Muflis Fina, the Muflis from amongst we, Balla Dirham, Walla Mata. 
Now the one will not get money, subhanallah, you not get cash. And you not get thing for it. That kind of individual, not a bankrupt person, not a poor person, subhanallah. Now the most poorest person, according to the response of the companions of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam turned to them with a beautiful smile, teaching them something much more beautiful. And he tell them, he said, nay, he say, al muflis fi ummati. He said, the true bankrupt person in my ummah, the true poor person in my ummah, that the one with the kind yawm al qiyamah, the salah, with the salah, he did intact, he get plenty salah, when it come to compulsory salah, and voluntary salah, the sunnah salah, they all the intact, subhanallah. And thereafter, with the fasting, he did intact, he fast for the sake of Allah. With the charity, in zakat, he give for the sake of Allah. Meaning this individual, he come with a baggage, a package full of goodies by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But suddenly this individual will get his plenty, plenty baggage of goodness. This person here, whilst he be there in the dunya, he be abused so and so person, subhanallah. And he be cheat on so and so person. And he be oppressed so and so person. He be advantage so and so person. He be slapped so and so person. He be beat so and so person. He be hold somebody and underwater. He be bought now some people a head, subhanallah. But he bring them plenty, plenty goodness. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he just, subhanallah, he did reward each and every one based on indeed, Almighty that say, وَإِنْ كَانَ مِثْقَالَ حَبَّةِ مِنْ خَرْضَلٍ أَتَيْنَا بِهَا وَكَفَى بِنَا حَاسِبِينَ He did what he do, no matter how small it is, subhanallah, if it is a good deed and it was for the sake of Allah, Allah can show you a yawm al qiyamah and he multiply for you. And the evil way you do, if not directly to Allah, when you repent to Allah, Allah in our view of Rahim, it is forgive, in that the most merciful, in that the most forgiving. If you not to copy what a man, you do him, you apologize to them, and he forgive you, Alhamdulillah, Allah they let go of that case. But if you not apologize to the person who you offend, subhanallah, Allah in justice, in the dictate for call that case the Yom al Qiyamah. So this individual, wake up with this beautiful, huge package of goodness. But because we don't abuse so and so person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they call the case. And Yom al Qiyamah, lie no day. There is no way we will hire someone to talk on your behalf. We know in dunya, when you get a case and you get what, what did happen? You they hire the best of lawyers. Then they go and they lie for you, subhanallah, in order for you to win the case. There are times you go even bribe the judge, subhanallah, and then you go give the judgment to you in favor. In dunya, you go win the case. When the year after, no way. You know why? Because on that day, yawma, لا تملك نفس لنفس شيئا والأمر يومئذ لله. On that day, no soul, no they get a control over another soul. All affairs belong to Allah. لمن الملك اليوم ولا نديكي of that day none beside Allah. لله واحد القهار. It belongs to Allah, the one and the irresistible. Nobody can resist Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So because Allah, Naina the judge of all the judges, the master of all masters, the king of all kings, subhanallah, it is called the case in the hereafter. In line of day, Almighty Allah says, Al Yawma Nakhtimu ala Abwaihim, wa tukalimuna aidihim, wa tashadu arjunuhum bima kanu yaksibun. On that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the seal the mouth. The hands and the talk and the foot be a witness. The hand they say, Ya Allah, truly, na me slap that poor man. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Then the foot they say, Ya Allah, na me be waka uta. To go commit the crime. There is no way you go meander, you go escape at all. Subhanallah. Allah they seal the mouth. 
So this individual will bring a lot of goodness in terms of salah, in terms of fasting, in terms of zakat, subhanallah, a hajj, day intact, whatever good deed way we do, he package them, and he package them, he count on your qiyamah. But because we don't offend so and so person, Allah, they call the way they offend, and they call the offender. Subhanallah. The judge between them. When this person went out, Boku good deed, he's found wanting or guilty of oppressing a particular person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they cut the good deed of this person, we bring Boku Boku good deed, and then he paid the way of him. Then another person grabbed and said, Ya Allah, this man, if he slapped me, I don't do nothing. Subhanallah. Allah cuts by the good deed again of this individual, and then he gives the person a complaint. Subhanallah. And then another person comes, Ya Allah, this man, if you locked me yesterday for no good reason, because if he get power in the dunya, even when a kind of Pokan collector, he called security there for me, then beat me blue black. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Can I hear? Allah, they cost the good deed of this individual, he paid you our report, subhanallah. The more people in the report, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they look into the case, and then he caught by this man in good place, and then he paid you one way complain, subhanallah. Until when this man in package of goodness, all empty, due to paying you one way oppress, and people are still complain against him, now he don't get no good deed again for pay. What did happen? Anybody will complain thereafter? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He they take from the bag of the person will complain, and then he add them for the one with them complain. Subhanallah. This they continue until Allah fulfill the judgment. And thereafter, he asked the angel then. He said, well, now take this individual. Well, primarily, he was to enter in Jannah because of good deed, but he waste all the good deeds then. Why? Because he oppressed others. Subhanallah. And Allah, they tell the angel then, he said, well, now drag this man on a cell and a hellfire. He said, this individual, naive, na the bankrupt person in my ummah. He is the poorest person. He is the poorest person or she is the poorest person in my ummah, subhanallah. Today, many of us are afraid of poverty when it comes to dunya. Yes, we have to try to become self-sufficient within the context of halal. But my beloved brothers and sisters, one of the highest poverty we have afraid is spiritual poverty. Now for them we go Yom al Qiyamah, Allah will take all his salah, subhanallah, and he give them to other people. Why? Because we oppress other people. Imam Shafi, rahmatullahi alayhi, this great Imam, he tell me, he say the most generous person, the most generous person, that the one where they give away in good deeds due to backbiting, subhanallah. When you backbite somebody, you backbeating someone, what will happen? You don't take a good deed, you don't give that person name. When you backbite somebody, remember the name is backbite, not a front bite. When you backbite somebody, subhanallah, Allah they defend them. In the year after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they take a good deed, then he give the person away backbite. Today, some of we, you walk on with all with Quran, subhanallah. Some of we, we are professor. In conversizing, subhanallah, with the conversation day and night, with the gossip day and night, subhanallah, and with a smile about her. Somebody they tell you, brother, you never backbite your brother. He said, but you talk about her, not true. Subhanallah. Then in that case, the backbite. If you want to talk about your brother or your sister behind your back, even though not true, if you be safe for your realm, it will become upset, that in the end call backbiting. Even on a two, you talk about your brother. Yes, what you say about her, now so he do. But if he be saying, if he read that kind of talk, they he become upset with you, then that the name and call backbiting. If what you say about your brother, Muslim, behind him back, not also he be, then call and slander, meaning you don't call him name. It is far more higher than backbiting. Who does say this one? Na Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How many of us today? We well, brought the Muslim the power say, look at then let me play my curry today. Subhanallah. Nobody knows beside you, subhanallah. Now you are telling everyone in the community. So when they see the brother went down with the kind of mosque now, subhanallah, everyone they watch a day and they say, look at the pray, subhanallah. Not knowing that he is a professor when it comes to my curry. Now that's how come now you tell people them. In that case, na backbiting. 
سبحان الله may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive of his sister there are things all they say about others all they say Quran says tahsabunahu hayyinan we think say a small thing to the things say this a small thing I don't say about my brother behind me back Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say wahuwa inna Allah al azim but in the eyes of Allah na a very grave thing the fact that you backbite someone else today with biggest problem na backbiting subhanallah and we don't modernize them we do them offline and online subhanallah the case become more bigger imagine if you send one message of your brother muslim to another person and this person take this message of the evil of this brother and you send it to another person how many people ever will listen to them where is your salah allah where is your salah so there many of us we are known as pushers the moment we hear information we push as we hear information we share them we get for very careful otherwise we get cashier with goodness with the day of the qiyama we became like the bankrupt person we are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect me in islam we are folks the prophet alayhi salatu salam he say ya ayyuhal ladina amanu in ja'akum fasikun bi nabai fatabayyanu an tusibu qauman bi jahla fatusbiru ala ma fa'altum nadimin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say look all know we believe whenever an information is being brought to you for your brother or for someone else subhanallah or for anything else what you need to do tatabayyanu investigate before you share that information that audio that came to you tatabayyanu investigate us look into them synchronize them very well Look into them very well subhanallah and to see the kaum of jahala they no for them purposing out of ignorance for to be ala ma fa'antum nadimin let them realize that for you we send it was it a true message subhanallah now somebody will be like this person they make this for you against them but you said don't share subhanallah let you regret subhanallah i do regret in the year after allah they take you good deed and you give this person why because you are better Why? Because you slap them. How many of us? When they look at we, we bother them. Subhanallah. For example, I'm just using the language of the use. We apprentice them now. We can place them. We not do you nothing. Subhanallah. Nothing. He said, just come. Kala slap you because me said the verse be slapped yesterday. Subhanallah. We have seen people they take iron, iron. He hit the apprentice. Just come. Why? He said, brother, you beat me past this one. because they beat you say for beat other person subhanallah when the evil will go stop this apprentice said go grow up he beat the apprentice and the apprentice said go up he beat you right subhanallah he still me do you may allah be subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him six seven someone somehow somewhere has to stop that chain subhanallah from continuing may allah be subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him six seven many of us get people away they on the way how we treat them well How do we talk to them? How do we treat them? How many times do I slap the driver? Subhanallah, simply because my driver. Simply because my driver. This man they cry, Subhanallah, you are laughing today you get power in the dunya. Don't worry. In the year after Allah they call the case Subhanallah. Allah take you salah, you don't pray any again. In go Jannah, you go Jahannam. There are people like Subhanallah when they go Jannah in the year of that, then think they know enough for other people and donate to them because of the evil they do to them. Subhanallah, my beloved brothers and sisters, it is better for someone to oppress you than you to oppress someone. When someone oppresses you, Subhan Subhanallah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will defend you. But when you oppress, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala say the oppressors will never ever be successful. Never ever. No matter of time subhanallah they will never ever be successful many of those who oppress others subhanallah even in dunya many of them they end with disgrace they end with disgrace subhanallah what about akhirah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect me so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam make mention of the poorest person in this ummah the true bankrupt person subhanallah not that you are when you get account subhanallah not that you are when you get money in a bank 
Now the one subhanallah, they take all the good deeds and give other people them out of oppression. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive the mistakes them. May Allah not make me among the poor people of this ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make me among the one them when they do good deeds them and protect them so that inshallah when we reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will reward me because of the good deeds them when we do by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah grant me the ability to apologize to those who will offend before they return to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But indeed, that was the message of the messenger, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with the telling companions them. He said, Whosoever from amongst you now, when you say that offending brother or sister, they apologize to them in the dunya before a day will come. When only, subhanallah, nobody will help you at all. When you know they will bribe you away, subhanallah, that day is Qiyamah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you guidance. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make among the one them where they get benefit from the good deeds that they do by the mass of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqul li tawli haza, astaghfirullah wa li wa lakum, astaghfiruhu innahu kana rafara. Let us call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. We can pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will delete the sins and the deeds. أستغفر الله. الله رب العالمين وبين السعين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى أهله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعدهم. بكم الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يكرم محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم إن حمل إن كان ينزل ويسكر الله سبحانه وتعالى قد يستر أول. ما دلوقت بعض السيسات المسلمين سلفا إن شاء that we protect to good deeds them as much as possible by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that not be from among the bankrupt people in the year of that. Another thing where they make me bankrupt in the year of that. Now when we engage in deeds then when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not teach me when it comes to spirituality. Subhanallah. Today we have a practice, subhanallah, as Muslims, we just choose and want to do anything and anything. As long as we look into them and we think within ourselves, say, this is good, we want to do them, subhanallah. Even if somebody say, brother, this prayer where they pray so, in other part of the Quran, in other part of the Sunnah, this person will say, but brother, my prayer, my prayer, prayer, but may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive the mistakes of Yes, it is true, it's a prayer. Yes, it is true, it's a Quranic recitation. Yes, it is true, it is fasting. The question is, is it coming from the Quran? If the answer is yes, mashallah. Is it coming from the Sunnah of Muhammad? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If the answer is yes, mashallah. But if the answer is no, no, then you don't waste your entire efforts. Subhanallah. We ask Allah to subhanahu wa ta'ala for grant you guidance. Almighty Allah tell me in the Quran is all God. Just at the ending of Surah Al-Kahf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, He say, قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّرَكُمْ بِأَخْزَرِينَ أَعْمَالَهْ لِلَّذِينَ ضَلَّ سَعْيُهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ يَحْسَنُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يُحْسِنُونَ سُنْعَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Say to them, O Muhammad, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ask them, Tuna gulak fula taluna, the person who bankrupts, the person who always be efforts, subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, now that individual, that kind of person who exact efforts in the dunya, he make lots of efforts when it comes to salah, lot of efforts when it comes to charity, lot of efforts when it comes to reciting the Quran, but you know the one as far instructed by Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So you know Qiyamah, when you go with this good deed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be tell him, he say, I don't get any reward for you, because you know the one as far instructed by the instructor, we are sent to you for bring all the instructions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you guidance. Almighty Allah tell me in the Quran, He said, Akad man Allah, ala al-mu'minina, is ba'sa feekim rasoola min anfusihim, yatnu alayhim ayatihi, wa yubakkihim, wa yu'allimuhum al-kitaba wal-hikmah, wa in kana bin qabru ya fi dawal al-mabin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you ever really believe us then, by sending a messenger from we, Wala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for can teach me the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for can teach me the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for can be revealing, for can teach me acts of worship. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, wa aqimu salah wa aqimu zakah. 
رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كان تجمع أو بدور لبريا يسأل سنة كما رأيتموني يصلي ونا بري لكاو نسيمي على بري ونا بري لكاو أتجمع for pray. He was the one whom Allah chose. And he said unto me, for now we follow him, subhanallah. And Almighty Allah said, in tutiru tahtadu. If we follow this man, then we will be truly guided. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you guidance. Man can be there in a total loss. Man can be there in darkness. Allah said Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, liukhrika al-nas min al-hulumat ila al-nur to come to me from darkness to light. He is the touch yara. You want to follow any line? Look exactly if Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you guidance. So my beloved brothers and sisters, whenever we open the Quran, we want to read the Quran, we need to ask subhanallah, is this the way how the Prophet alayhi salam will recite the Quran? Is this the way how we treat the Quran? Is this the way how he teach you to read the Quran? If the answer is yes, then we continue. If the answer is no, subhanallah, we still have it. So if somebody get back there, for example, and the person says, Shaykh, me, I know I'm going to bitch, I know I'm playing music, alhamdulillah. But they say, Shaykh, I want to invite people and then they can finish the Quran for me. If you are young, you find for your ear. Shaitan is wonderful. Shaitan, if they attack you out, they attack you inside. You say, well, they say, the play music is haram. Now, get a people that read Quran. The question is, the Prophet alayhi salam ever get a people that will recite Quran on his birthday? Did he celebrate his birthday? The answer is no. SubhanAllah, they don't wish the efforts. So even if you get all the shaykh them, subhanallah, national and international shaykh, you get them all, they recite the Qur'an in different styles, subhanallah, they finish the entire Qur'an again and again and again. My beloved brother, my beloved sister, you've wasted your entire effort because the Qur'an will come for the user for celebrate that thing. Subhanallah, subhanallah, Almighty Allah says in the Qur'an, one of the the scary verse in the Quran is Surah Al-Furqan. Allah put them inside Surah Al-Furqan. Surah the Quran itself. Why? Because Allah knows there will be a time when we go play with the Quran. When we go play with the Quran in the name of reciting the Quran, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive the mistakes. Today when somebody pass away, we they come and recite the Quran for three days. We come together and finish the Quran. Or oh, Yasin 41, subhanallah. We recite Yasin 41 for some way don't pass away. The question is, did the Prophet alayhi salam did it? The answer is no. Did the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did it? The answer is no. Who say you pull after question? Who say pull up? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, in Surah Al-Furqan, He say, وَقَدِمِنَا إِلَا مَا عَمِلُوا مِنْ عَمَلٍ فَجَعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْفِرًا Allah say, because they do this act, we not only teach them, not only messenger teach them this act here, and they precede all the act, and they destroy all, and turn them all to dust. They no kaya mo kayama, they no meet no reward. Why? Because they recite the Quran in a way, how Allah and the messenger not teach. Islam no come for burning anybody. Islam no come for putting difficulty upon people. Imagine if you lost your pussy. Three days they come, they recite Quran. Subhanallah. And then you give money, they cook more food. Seven days they come up, recite Quran, you cook more food, they eat, they scatter, subhanallah. Then when they say, hey, this young man will die, sorry, but they still eat the rest. They let them stop for eat, subhanallah. May all men forgive you. And then 30 days they come up, you cook back. Now don't be losses. Islam not count for lessons anybody. You read the word of Bikumun Busra. Wala you read the Bikumun Usra. Allah said this thing for make things easy for me. He not said that to make things difficult for me. Subhanallah. So one want to ask, can we gather and finish the Quran? Can we all come together and recite the Quran? Subhanallah. One one choose, one one choose each. We all recite and we finish them. Is this a good practice? Subhanallah. Based on the correct Islamic principles, subhanallah, we know get based for this one. Subhanallah, the strongest of all base, we all can gather. One person inside the Quran will listen to them. Usa will pull this one in, get a base. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, when the Quran is being recited, fastami'u lahu wa ansitu la'allakum tuhamun. When the Quran is being recited, una listen to them attentively, then una keep quiet. For that reason, Allah did destroy Iman Sakana. So this one gets proof. 
Somebody reciting, we listen. That is why in the Hajjud, in the month of Ramadan, when you pray, a reciter, they recite the Quran, we only listen. Subhanallah. In the Salah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or one reciter, they recite, and the others, then they follow. When the reciter say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, the rest say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alameen, all must say, Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alameen, this is better, subhanallah, because we all share in the recitation. May Allah, to my beloved brothers and sisters, many a time, even if you must have the Quran, it is you know say people they recite the Quran in group. You cannot say something like that. Subhanallah. There are times if you don't even shock. Is it that a slow? Is it that I not sabi the Quran at all? Do you know what teacher you the bill of a week in a competition? And they say you see your friends who are not really going to do it. So what did that people they begin skip the verse system? Subhanallah. So people when they recite as in the area, as you all born like him, like I'm not saying 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 I'm not before you remember, in the Mahamur Isa Allah Shaya Yakuna Lahu Kun Vaya Kun Subhanallah. Yari Yasin the next by the end of Subhanallah. 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 May Allah forgive the mistakes. Eh? People that don't take them up there, then turn them upside down. Allah, it's happening. Somebody go for inside the Quran and turn them upside down. You don't even know nothing. You know why you take the Jews? Now because in name the Farabi Sarah for the book after the recitation of the Kyatan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, you know, not sell me book Saman and Kabila. You know, not sell me book with a small price, subhanallah. Subhanallah, how can you sell the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for your personal gain, subhanallah? What will happen when you go your own qiyamah? You will drain all you gain, all you gain in the dunya. So beloved brothers and sisters, let's accept Islam. Don't say no, 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 so I meet me, Papa, then be the blue. Wajatna alayna abana kadalika ya falun. This was the response of the Kufar in Mecca. When the Prophet alayhi salam, they tell us, look, this thing is not correct, subhanallah. You know what they say? They say, Pa, we meet me, Papa, then be the blue, this thing, but I make myself the blue. So what happened today? People start saying, I see that Sheikh Nuam, I see that Sheikh Nuam. Islam not by Sheikh, 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 Subhanallah. Islam is about proof from Quran and Sunnah. The proof of Islam not tied to an individual. It tied to the truth, Subhanallah. It is coming from the Quran and Sunnah. Even if you come out from the woman of the Sheikh, we need to follow them, Subhanallah. So there we know there are some of us where they twist and turn the Quran for real personal gain. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make we among the one then where they auction the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just for real personal gain. But Allah, my beloved brothers and sisters, if it's enough for what he writes, inshallah, Allah will look after we by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Almighty Allah says in the Quran, Alladina yuballikuna risalati Allah, wa yakshawna hu wa la yakshawna ahadan illa Allah, wa kafra billahi hasiba. They want them when they deliver the message of Allah. They want them when they do what in Allah the subhanahu wa ta'ala tell them for doing. They don't fear anybody. They don't fear anybody beside Allah. Allah sufficient to look after them. Yeah. They want them when they auction the Quran. They will buy them from you. But not you you don't sell them the respect. They never respect you. That is the truth, subhanAllah. So tell you that the motivation is money. When you see people just go to the meeting, they say, look, we don't say if I'm not going to die, Quran for you, the Latin. When do you see it? Did they happen? The answer is no. No, it's the old Jamaah. It's difficult for them. You see the Jamaah that say, we just can't want to the Quran for you. Because your mama, we don't die yesterday, subhanAllah. They don't get space inside you. The example of for you is that, they know they do and pass you call them. You know why? It's because when you call, you are him. That's all. SubhanAllah. May Allah forgive the mistakes there. May Allah strengthen you. We can teach Quran. We can get a student and we teach them. And we'll ask their parents they are proclaiming by once. They are acceptable in the Islam. By the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As an ustaz in the community, you can open a tahfiz center. Subhanallah, you can open a school, even a yubaranda. Teach picking them, ask the parents and obey you by month. It is acceptable by the will of Allah. They are paying you for the service where they render. Subhanallah. Not because of the Quran where they recite. May Allah for subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you guidance. When you stand for the truth, when Allah you jamaah, they will give respect and they will look after you. By the will of Allah for subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not to all kinds of they will get and then call you and say, Shaykh, come to Salah for you. May Allah grant you guidance. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive the mistakes there. So my beloved brothers and sisters, whenever we give you the Quran, let me do an ask for instructions by the Quran and Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a community gathering from it to to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah be it is good, be ta'ala, that you need to treat the Quran in a proper way by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When people share the Jews by themselves, they're walking. Many times you know they finish the Quran. Many times, you know why? So man, they skip, skip, you know they know. Subhanallah. So man, if it isn't a one day one left, they skip, skip quick. Subhanallah. So at the end of the day, we will say, we don't finish the Quran, they will not finish the Quran. It is better for you to recite one surah properly by the will of the Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and gain the reward, than together and we're in, subhanallah, like when they're reciting the Quran, as if they are only, they are bolting in the Quran. May Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, not make Hussein both when it comes to the Quran. My beloved brothers and sisters, we need to ensure that we take the Quran with utmost respect. It is the book of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever you open them, you need to do them with caution and go with respect, because now the book of Allah, subhanahu Wa ta'ala. We ask Allah to bless this community and ask Allah to subhanahu wa ta'ala not to make we among the one them where they send the book of Allah to subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah for grant to Jamadam where they look after the Imams by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah grant the Jamadam Imams also raise steadfast upon goodness. No matter the condition, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen we. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open doors of goodness and for we. May Almighty Allah bless this community. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen to the beginning inside the gym. May Allah bless the Imam said. May Allah open doors of goodness there for them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fortify this nation. May Allah grant to job the will of the Puri inside his deen. By the mass of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah for grant to tranquility, for grant to contentment, for make a man wonder whether they submit to the will of Allah. By the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah mahdina fi man hadayt, wa akhina fi man aafayt, wa ta'alana fi man ta'alayt, wa barifana fi ma aafayt, wa kina wasib anna sharra ma qadayt, inna ka tagdiru bil haqq wa la yukda alayt, la ilaha ila anta subhanak inna kunna mina zhalimin, asbun Allah wa ni'ma al-wakil, wa la hulana wa la quwata illa billahi alul azim, برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد سبحان الله بحمده سبحان الله بحمده نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين